Hey everybody, this is Dave coming to you from the Gaming Cave and we're continuing with the Sherman Leader uh, Solitaire game and I'm doing the Italy 1943 campaign. Oh, I'll just show you real quick again. Um, so we're doing this campaign and um, if you remember on this roll from the first battle of this first week, I rolled um, where I use a D6, which Really, I wish I hadn't because I wish they were more aggressive. It helps me sometimes, but I got to be the aggressor on this. Uh, this campaign, I'm sorry, this battle, we're going against the uh, enemy unit in my staging area. I need to get him out of there. It cost me too many SO points. This is a fast assault. They have four tanks, two rifles, two enemy tanks, two trucks, and two armored cars. The battle lasts one few returns, so I'm going to use my scout car, and that gives me one extra turn. So that gets me up to five uh, turns, so it's the normal five. And the uh, German commander I drew was Heinz Guderian. I'll gain three SOs if I can eliminate this battalion. Uh, what he gives them is light cover hexes giving plus two to his defense, and heavy cover gives him plus three. So instead of the normal plus one and plus two, now they become plus two plus three. Okay, so makes them, uh, they're good defenders and uh, that does not help me there. Uh, the map tiles I drew, uh, there's light terrain there and then we have light terrain here and here. So there's a little bit of light terrain and then we have a river, so the way the river works is when you move to the river, you're on one side, it takes you one movement turn to get across the river. And the, uh, the special condition card does not change, so they state battle hardened, which really isn't going to do anything for me. Um, and then the event card I pulled is poor training. So when the first friendly AP unit suffers a damage counter, all friendly AP units must retreat one hex or off the map if in the bottom row or be destroyed. So that really sucks. So the first thing I got to do on this first move with my armor is get these guys out of this back row because I can't have them um, getting pushed back into my... Um, <laughs> off the board and losing them so I can't have that so I got to have them move forward so so we'll be doing some movement with those guys when we get to it um, as you can see here I've selected uh, one two three four five six seven units for this battle I've got to make sure I eliminate this friendly staging now the problem with some of that is it's going to cause me some um, uh, stress points um, on all my commanders and uh, you know it's going to make it difficult on the next mission but this is a short campaign we may have to go with some stress here but I got to get rid of these guys to slow down and not lose any SO points I already lost one unit in this campaign on the first battle okay so with all that said we're going to get right into it here and let's see what happens here on this uh, campaign so we start with oh I guess I should also tell you uh, these are the units where I placed them this rifle company moved to and he was over here so he crossed the river and he's come up the river did me a favor because it slowed him down this rifle company got across the river this one's to the river and the anti-tank unit moved up one so they're all set now and then all my units are back here in this corner right here. And I do have some advantages, some light cover that I'm going to try to use to help me. <clears throat> I also have a mortar team uh, right now that they can reach. So we're going to see if we can help them. And uh, fast, moon, fast units move and attack. Uh, right now I have a, um, a tactic point for the scout car and for the rifle team but my experienced rifle team, but I'm going to hold on to that for this rifle team. You know, I could give him the first shot, but 
kind of going to hold on to that because I may need it here in a little while if I have to make a move and then do combat. So we're going to take our chances here. First thing we're going to do is roll and see what their tactical movement's going to be. And they got a five. All right. So their tanks, anti-tanks and armored cars will advance if they cannot attack. Their rifles, half tracks and machine gun teams would advance to cover. And their truck, mortar, and anti-tank guns, cautious advance. Okay. So I'm going to work my way front to back because I'm going to get a lot of movement and probably a lot of combat going here. Okay, so I have an anti-tank team. He does a cautious advance. And cautious advance means advance only if doing so it cannot be attacked. Okay, so in this case, this anti-tank team, he's already in range to be attacked, so he will not advance. Okay, rifle teams advance to cover. There's no cover here for these guys to move into, so they won't move. This one, he can move. So he's going to move, and we're going to have a combat right there. We're going to go ahead and resolve this. So they move in, and they need a five or um, five or greater to hit. And... Uh, their movement would have cost them uh, minus two, but because they're in the same hex, that offsets that. So it's five or greater to hit. So they roll two dice. We get six and a nine, two hits. My defense on this rifle team is four, and I'm in light cover, so it's five. So I need five or less to defeat the attack. And I got three and an eight, so we take one hit. Okay. So here we go. One damage. Suppressed. Okay, with suppressed, I suffer one stress or cannot attack. So we're going to take a stress right there and get rid of that suppressed. Can't have that foolishness going on. <laughs> okay, working our way across. The armored car, advance if cannot attack. Its range is two, it cannot attack. So the enemy's this way, he's gonna move in this direction. He moves there. The uh, tank is the same thing. One, two, oh, he can attack. So he's gonna attack my infantry unit. Okay, its range is one, two. Oops, sorry, this one. One, two, three. He has a range of three. And it's against the infantry, so he needs a five or higher. And at range three, he is sorry, taking a quick look, make sure I get it right. Minus two. Okay. So he needs five or higher, and it's minus two to the die roll. Here we go. Eight and a three. One miss, a six, he gets one one hit. Okay. So we roll a one, it's a five. I'm at a five or less because of the, I'm a four and I got light cover, so five or less, so I defeat the that attack. Okay, next up, this anti-tank unit. Advance if cannot attack, his range is one. He's going to advance. He moves to here. And now he can attack, he moved. He gets two dice. He needs a seven or higher to hit. Because he moved, he's minus one. <clears throat> Nothing for the range. So seven or higher and minus one. Eight and a four, so he gets one hit. And because I'm still in that light cover, it's five or less to, to get by. Three, okay, no damage. This is why I saved my point here, because next turn I can use that on that anti-tank team. Okay, I have to survive, of course, to get there. The Panzer IV, range is two. He's going to fire. He needs a four or higher, and he's plus one. 
I'm sorry. Yeah, he's plus one for the range. Minus one for the range. Four higher, minus one. Nine and one. So he gets one hit. Again, five or less. Two. No damage. All right. The truck, cautious advance. So he would not advance. Um... One, two, ah, he would advance. So he's going to advance to this side of the river. Same thing with this guy. They advance to that side of the river. Okay, my armored car back here. He's going to advance because he cannot attack. The tiger, one, two, three, he can attack at range three. He needs a three or higher to hit. Man, getting shot up. These guys are in danger zone here. Okay, three or higher, range is three, so it's um, minus two. A four and a four, he missed. Whew. And the Panzer three, one, two, three, he's gonna fire. Five or higher to hit, minus two. Five and a seven, so he gets one possible hit. And here we roll, five or less, we got a five. Okay, all right. Survived that with only one stress. <laughs> Whew. Okay, here we go. First thing we're going to do is attack this rifle company right here with my expert rifle team. Their HE attack number is four. We're in close, so I get three, sorry, I get two dice. But I'm plus one to my dice for being my leaders of plus one. So... It will be, he's going to get the uh, bonus for the cover here. So it makes him a lot tougher to kill, but I got to get after him here. Okay, so I need a four or higher to hit, and I'm plus one. A three makes that a four and a ten, so that's two hits. Okay, now his defense is three, and he gets to add two because he's in this light cover. So he's a five or less. Two and a two, he defeated it. So I didn't get him. Okay, that makes it interesting. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Gotta do some movement here. I could fire my mortar team. Could fire on him and try to knock him out of there. Or they can fire at that anti-tank team, which is out in the open, or this rifle company that's out in the open. Um, let's see. It'd be a minus two, but he wouldn't have any defense. So it'd be a five or higher to hit. Here, it would be a five or higher. Let's see, make, really, i got to roll a seven. If I fire here, it's a six. The difference is three to five. I think my mortar team, 931, is going to fire at that rifle company right there. We're going to see if we can hit them. We need five or higher, and we're going to be minus two. Oh, six and a six. Missed. Not what I was hoping for. Okay. Rifle team's already fired. Here comes my scout car. Oops. He can attack when moving. He's going to move up. He's going to attack that rifle company as a range of one. He's a six or higher. And he's minus, minus one for moving. He's a plus zero for the commander. Six or higher to hit. Three and a seven. Minus one's a six. He gets one hit. Okay. These guys are five or less to survive that. Two, they did. Not going my way. <laughs> okay. If I move here, one, two, three. Or one, two, three at that Panzer. Moving my tank, number four. It's an M3, M5 Stewart. He's in light cover now. Range is one, two, three. He's going to fire at that Panzer IV and try to take him out. 
It's a seven or higher to hit. The tank is a minus one for moving and the range is one, two, three, that's minus four. Woo. Maybe he won't attack that tank because I can't hit. I can't hit him. He's too far away when I'm moving. And I'm minus one with my with my uh, commander. So we're gonna have to I think we're gonna have to fire at this rifle company right here in the woods. I need an eight or higher. Minus one, minus one, minus two. Actually I have to roll tens to hit. It'd be the same thing if I fired the anti-tank team. Um Minus one, minus one be minus two. Movement, minus one, minus two. Yeah, it'd be minus three. He'll fire here, but I need a 10 to hit. Not very good odds there, but we'll take the shot. Nope, no hits. Okay. So, so far, the battle's not going the way I hoped it would. Okay, my M3 Grant, number 36. He's going to be in the open there. He has a range of two. He moves up right here. He's going to fire at the anti-tank team. Because they're deadly to him. He needs an eight or higher. He moved. That's minus one. Minus, he needs tens to hit. Okay. Again, the odds are against us. Eight and a four. Couldn't do it. Okay, the M3 leaves moving. He's going to move to here. He's going to fire. His range is one to three. One, two, three. He can hit on a six or higher against the tank. One, two. He's a plus zero. So he's going to fire at this armored car. Or should he fire at the end? Yeah, he'll fire at the armored car. He needs a six or higher. Minus one for moving. Minus one for distance. So, it's six or higher. He's minus two. A nine and a four. He scored one hit on that armored car. Let's see if it does it. Armored car is two or less. Two or less. i to flip that back over. <laughs> okay. Nine. Killed the armored car. All right. We got our first knockout right there. All right. I got this half track. He can move. He moves there. He actually can't fire through there because of the trees. So if I did, I didn't do that, I fired into there. He's going to fire at that rifle team right there. So he needs a six or higher. Half track moved is minus two. The range doesn't do anything and he's a zero. So minus two. He's six or higher and minus two. Eight and a two. He gets one hit on that rifle company. Let's see if they can knock him out. They're at a five or less to survive. One, they survived. Okay. Well, I didn't get anything there. <laughs> That's the end of that turn. So now we go to turn two. Okay. I'm going to play my... Yep, I'm going to play my um, tactic here. For my experienced rifle team. He's firing at this rifle company. They are, they need a four or higher to hit. They're plus one because they're in close. Okay, four or higher, plus one. Nine and a two. He gets one hit, and again, they're at the five or eight. I finally got that sucker. <laughs> okay. Whew, I needed that.
Okay, my scout car, which is an HE target. He's going to move. He's going to use his tactic to move. And he can move and fire. So he's going to do that. He's going to fire to anti-tank team. He is a six to hit. He moved, which is minus one. And he's zero. So I need a six or higher to hit. And we're minus one. Six and a nine. The six misses, the nine hit. And the anti-tank team is a two or less. Five. I got it. All right. Killed the anti-tank team. So they're down. That's all the fast I've got. So now I have to roll for the Germans. Let's see what they're going to do here with their tactical move is a six. So they stay right where they're at with their tactical move. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to see... So I have an anti-tank team, range is two, sorry, range is, one, two, three, two, three, yeah, range is one. He cannot attack, so he's going to move, he moves up to here now. Okay, rifle. Moves to adjacent cover. He doesn't have any. He doesn't have any. So they're not going to move. Okay, those two stay there. They can't fire. All right, the armored car. Advance if cannot attack. So he cannot attack. He's going to move up. Okay. Panzer three tank. Advance if cannot attack. One, two, three. One, two, three. So the scout car is an HE, which means it's a five to hit. Here he fires at these guys, it's a four. One, two, three. He'll take the armor shot. He's got the Grant, number 36, whose defense is a two. And the Lee, whose defense is a two, so we need to roll. And so one to five, he'll attack number 32. It's a four. That's who he's attacking. So he's firing on 32. Okay. So he needs a five or higher to hit. Range is three. It's minus two. Eight and nine. See, he got two possible hits. On number 32, we're a two or less, six and a four. So we're going to suffer two hits on number 32. First one, one stress. Okay. Next one, the gun. Okay, so my gun just takes a hit. I put a stress marker on Johnson. My tanks are going to have to retreat this turn <laughs> because of that fire right there. Okay. The truck is a cautious advance. He can't move there because he'd get fired on, so they don't move. Panzer IV can fire. One, two, three. He'll fire at either 32 or 36. Again, we'll roll that same number. Seven. He's firing at 36. That's Andy. All right. And his defense is a two when we get there. All right. So he needs a three or higher to hit. And it's minus two for the range. Eight and ten. So he hit both times. Those panzers are coming at me. Seven and a nine. Two hits on 36. Okay, here we go. Suspension. One stress. I'm looking at the board. Cannot move. Suspension. Cannot move or enter battle. 
engine one stress. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> Cannot move her in her battle. 2SO to repair. So, there he sits. They basically knocked him out. And he gets a stress for each one of those. So they basically knocked that tank out. All right. The Tiger. One, two, three. He can fire. He'll fire at the Scout car because he has the lowest defense. So he needs a three or higher. He's minus two because of the range. It's a seven and a five. That's still a three. So he gets two hits on the Scout car. And the Scout car... He needs a one, he gets cover, so he needs two or less. Nope, two hits on the scout car. This is an HE target, so we draw it on the HE side. First one is suppressed. Second one is commander wounded. Okay. So, I have to decide um, I think we're going to pay this stress to get rid of that suppress because I'm going to need him to fire. This Panzer three, one, two, three. he can fire also at the scout car. This is range of three, so he'll be a plus, he needs a five or higher, and he's uh, minus two. Three and a seven makes it a five, he gets one hit. Again, we need two or less. A three. <laughs> Didn't get there. Okay, we got to take another hit. This one is... No effect. All right. We survived their attacks. Now it's, now it's the good old American's turn. Okay. <clears throat> now what to do? <laughs> I got to be aggressive here because these guys aren't moving. I don't want to get obliterated. Well, we know my armor, 36 can't move, but the armor has to retreat. So 102, he retreats. 32, he retreats. And the gun on him means he cannot attack at range 2 or 3. So they really, I got to get him moving again. And then... Number four, he retreats. Now all these guys have range two, range three, and 102, range three. So they can fire. So we'll go ahead and do their, see what they do. We'll start with 32. He can fire at the anti-tank team. He is eight. It's gonna be minus, minus one for moving. Minus two, minus three, so he can't hit. It's it's eleven. Um, I don't think. I'll look real quick. I don't think there's an automatic hit um, roll, but let's look real quick. Um, use armor. Add or subtract. And no, I don't see an automatic hit if you roll a 10. So we're going, he doesn't have a shot. Uh, four at HE, he's the same problem. 36 is suspension is out. So with suspension, um, cannot move or enter the battle. All right, I got to check that one too because. I just want to make sure he might be able to fire. He's already in the battle. So, um, let me read what that says. Place the counter on the unit card. The vehicle cannot move during the battle. If it suffered, the vehicle cannot enter a new battle. Okay, so he can still fire. So 36 is sitting here. He's got a range of two, one, two at that anti-tank unit. That'll help him. He can fire. So he has eight to hit, and he's minus one because of his commander. I really need a nine or ten to hit him. I got a ten. All right. One hit, or two or less. 
Four. Killed that anti tank team. All right. Hey, we'll take it. It's one that I don't have to worry about now. My half track, 102. He's out here. He can fire. Range. He moved. So he's going to be a minus one. He can fire at the. Uh, he'll fire at a one, two, three. He can fire at this rifle company. He's a six or higher to hit. Minus two for moving. And minus two. He needs tens. Oh, six and four. No hit. Okay. My mortar can fire. One, two, three. He can fire at his rifle company. He's going to fire at the one that crossed the river. He's a five. And he's a minus two. But he's plus one, so he's only minus one. My leader gives him the plus one. Minus one. Five or higher. Five and an eight. So the five minus the one, but the eight got a hit onto that rifle company. He needs three or less. A one. No effect. Man, bad luck. Bad luck. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. What do we do? What do we do? No matter what I do, I'm going to get shot at. That's for sure. I can send my um, scout car. It'd be in range there if I go there. I'm going to send, um, I can send him up here or over there. I'm going to send my scout car here and he's going to fire. He's a uh, attack of six. And. He is a, I got to look on his card, minus one for moving. So six, minus one, no range difference, no modifier there. So I need six or higher, minus one. Nine and ten, two hits on that truck. He needs ones. Oops, two dice. Killed him, nine and five. So I killed that truck. Okay. Hey, he did his job. <laughs> My experienced rifle team has got to do something drastic here. They're going to move out. Man. Minus two and a stress. If I attack. If I stay here. He can't fire. They can't fire at me. Whew. If I move him into there, he becomes in range of the armored car and all the tanks. At least he's in cover here. I think I'm going to leave him there. Okay, so that's it for turn two. We'll go into turn three. Time's not on my side here. I don't have any fast this time, so let's roll. See what the Germans are going to do with their tactics. They got a three. Okay. So his armored cars, tanks, and anti-tank team advance to cover. So no cover for him. The tanks don't have any cover to move to. So they will not advance. So they're just going to stay where they are and keep shooting at us. It's not helping me. Um, okay. So they, he's got a range of two, one, two. He can't fire at anybody. The rifle companies, advanced, adjacent cover, there isn't any for them, so they're not moving. Trucks are going to hold, so they're not going anywhere. Okay. So here we are, down to the tanks. One, two, three. Panzer three is firing at number 36. He's a four or higher to hit and he's minus two. 
A five and a nine, that's one hit. And this is 36, he's a defensive two. So it's defensive two, seven, takes a hit. Oh, 36 got himself, he got in trouble there. <laughs> and it is one stress, okay. So on 36, he now goes to three stress and he's now shaken. So he's coming under fire and now it's going to pay the price for that. He's going to have a tough time hitting anything now. He's just a target sitting up there. Panzer IV can also fire at 36. He needs a three or higher. Range is one, two, three, so it's minus two. Nine and eight, he hits him twice. And of course we need the four and three. So he takes two more hits. This tank is just a target. <laughs> That's all there is to it. He gets a destroyed, two stress. So the tank is destroyed and his stress just went up to five. So he's completely disabled now at five. He can't do anything even if somebody else showed up. So 36 comes off the map. That tank got destroyed. So I lost my M3 Grant. Okay. And the Panzer III, one, two. He can fire at the scout car. So can the Tiger. Yep. One, two, three. He'll fire at the scout car. The Tiger will. He is a three or higher to hit, and it's range is one, one, two, three, so he's minus two. Six and a one, he only gets one hit on the scout car. Of course, the scout car, a two, what's he need? Probably a one. <laughs> I can't imagine, yep, defense is one, so he takes the hit, okay. And the hit is one stress. So Adams now has two stress on him. Okay. And now the Panzer III is firing at him at range two. He needs a four or higher and he's minus one. Three and a four, he missed. All right, what do you know? <laughs> hey, we'll take that. The scout car is probably going to get eliminated before it's all over. And try to get some kills here. All right. So here we go. It's time for the Americans again. All right. We're going to bring scout car moving over this way. He's firing at that rifle company. He needs a six. He is uh, minus one when he moves. And no other modifier is zero there. So we need six, and he's minus one on the die roll. Six or higher. Oh, missed with that one. Two and a two, he missed. Great. <laughs> okay, a rifle company's got to do something here. They're moving up to here. And they're firing at the rifle company. Nope, I'm just moving. I'm not going to fire. I should have moved them last time and endured, but I can't take the stress. All right, so he moved. Okay, here comes my tanks. 32 is moving up. And he's firing. He can't fire. He's not close enough yet. Number four. Here. One, two, three. Here. One, two, three. And his is an eight. Hmm. Seven minus, minus three. He's moving into the cover. One, three. He, can, he can't hit because of the range. The half track, he has a shot though to do something here. And the mortar team Still has their shot. 
I'll tell you what, I'm getting desperate here, but I got to move the mortar team up. I got to get them closer. 102 can move. He can move one. You can move him there. He can fire one, two, three at the rifle company. It's a six. Half track is minus two. Minus two. So he needs a 10 to hit this rifle company. No hits. Okay. Turn four. This is not going well. I need them down to 12. They're at two, three, four, five. 11, yeah, we're not even close because I haven't knocked any of his armor out. Okay, this is uh, really not going well. <laughs> All right, we're gonna roll for the Germans, see what their tactics are this time. A two. Cautious advance. Armored car won't move because he's already able to be fired on. And anti-tanks, they're gone. I at least got rid of those guys. And this armor, one, two, three, they're already in range. Uh, 32 has a range of three, so they're already in range there. Uh, this Tiger, he can move. And this Panzer three, he would not move there. But it would, yeah, he could move there, except armored car can't do anything. Okay, so the Tiger can move up. We'll get to him. Let's, let's, the rifle companies and the trucks, they all hold. So he's not doing anything, he's not doing anything, but they can fire on these guys. Okay, so this rifle company is firing on that scout car. And he needs a, it's a HE target, so he needs five or higher to hit. Five and nine, two hits. And of course, this poor thing's a one. Nope. Two more hits on the scout car. First one is suppressed. Second one is immobile. All right. So my scout car is in trouble. I have to pay if I want him to, um, if I do, it makes him a minus two. Okay. This rifle company can also fire at the scout car again. He's a uh, five or higher. Nine and eight. Two more. You got to have a one to get out of that. Nothing. Twos. I'm getting twos. I'm not getting ones. Two more hits on the scout car. He gets a casualty. One more of those will eliminate the scout car unit. And he gets no effect. Okay. The scout car is still alive. <laughs> Okay. That was these guys firing. The armored car already did his fire. Right? No, he didn't fire. The rifle company's fired. He fired at 32. No, he did not. Range is two. That's a five or higher to hit. Minus one for the range. Nine and eight, two hits. 32, I believe, is a two. 10 and one, he got missed one of them. Takes one hit on 32. And it is one stress. So he goes to two stress now on Johnson. All right. That's that row. Now we go to the Panzer III. One, two, three to hit the armor. And that's who he would be firing at. So he needs a four or higher to hit, minus two. 10 and nine, two more hits. Three and six, takes two hits. This is on 32. The first one is, come on, gun, which we already had. So, no more effect to that. 
And this one is the machine gun. Oh, it gets even better now. So, he has the gun, cannot attack at range two or three, and the machine gun cannot attack at range zero. So his only attack is range one. <laughs> Panzer IV, one, two, three, he's firing at 32. He needs a three or higher, minus two. Six and nine, so two hits. Five and a two. I think the two, yep, bounces off, so he gets one hit. No effect. All right. So the Panzer didn't get him. Okay, now the Tiger is not in range. So he's going to move, cautious advance, to here. Now he's in range. One, two, three. He's firing at 32. He needs a two or higher. He moved. See, minus one. His range is three. Minus two. So it's a minus three. Two or higher. Minus three. Oops. Come on. A one and a ten. One hit. Seven. He took the hit, unfortunately. And it is exposed. Okay. So exposed means they'll get a plus two next turn if he doesn't move. Panzer three can fire. Oh, you know what? I gotta take that back. That tiger could fire. He could fire right there. I gotta redo that. Okay, take that exposed off of there. He's gotta fire right here at the armored car. He's a three or higher to hit. And he's range two, so it's only minus one. Three, which makes it a two, he missed. With that one, the five, he gets one hit. And poor armored car better get a one. Nope, he takes another hit. And it is one stress. So he's now shaking at three. He's in big trouble. And the Panzer three is firing. One, two, he needs a five or higher to hit. He's minus one. Nine and five makes that a four. One hit. And he is a one. Got a two. Okay. So the... He gets one stress. He's now... Whacked out. They can't... They're no longer... they incapable of doing anything. So that's it for the... Um, command car they would surrender if they could okay all right it's my turn my rifle company is attacking this rifle company we're a four or higher get plus one for the commander all right four or higher plus one eight and ten two hits oh and they are threes or less Eight and a three, I killed that rifle company. Finally, got him down. All right. This armor unit moves, 32. He moves to here. He can attack that armored car because he's at range one. And at range one, he gets a six and no modifier. And he moves, so he's minus one. A six or higher, minus one. Five and two, he missed. Man, I needed that. <laughs> okay, tank number four. Three, he could, really can't, he needs to move. <clears throat> he has to move up here. He's still in light cover. So he can fire now at that Panzer four. He is a four let's see he needs a seven or higher minus one for moving minus one two so he needs really needs nine or ten to hit a ten and an eight and because he's minus one on the leader i forgot that 
So that makes it a nine. He gets the one hit. Well, the Panzer IV is a three or higher, three or less. Ten. He killed it. He killed the Panzer. Wow. What a shot. Last second shot, and he gets one. Okay. This half track moves up. He is... Uh, He's deadly. He's a six or higher. Range here is one, two, three to that Panzer. It's one, two, three to the armored car. He's shooting at the Panzer. Okay. He needs a six. He moved, which makes him an eight. No modifier. He needs eight or higher. And he got one and two. <laughs> Not even close. My mortar team can fire one, two, three, at that rifle company. Man, if I move them up, I get a shot at that tanks back there. And that's what they're doing. They got to move again. Okay. Hang on just a second. Okay, so that's the end of turn four. We go to turn five. I do need to do some math here and see what's left. Three, six... 9, 10, 12, 13. Man, we're one kill away from making them a half-strength battalion. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Got to roll to see what the Germans are going to do. A 3. Advance to cover with their armor, which isn't going to be any. His rifles are adjacent cover, which isn't any. And the truck holds again. Okay. So, here we go. Let's see. My suppressed and my immobile cannot move next action. And the suppressed, he could not. Yeah. So, that was the, his action. So, those two come off of there. So, he's back in action. But the commander's... Um, gone bonkers here. <laughs> okay, the armored car can fire right here. It's a range of one. So he's firing. He needs a five or higher to hit. Seven and two. One hit. My armor, six. He takes the hit. So that's on 32. And it is machine gun, which we've already had, so no effect. All right. This rifle company would attack. Actually, he would attack the armored car because he's still active, according to you know what they know. Um, he's got the best kill ratio. So they are five or higher to hit. Six and a ten, that's two hits on the armored car. He's got to have a one. Nope. So two more hits on the armored car. It's just target down range for these guys now. He gets another stress. And suppressed. We can't fire. His stress level has gone up to five now. So he's going to be out of combat for a while if they get off this battlefield. <laughs> okay, the uh, truck can attack also. He will attack that armored car. He needs a eight or higher. Seven and four, nothing. Okay, Panzer can attack. Range is two, range is two. He's attacking the tank, number 32. He needs a... Four higher, minus one. Six and four, one hit. And we get 10, he hits him. So he hit 32. Maybe they'll hit that gun or machine gun again. Glancing, so no damage. Okay, 32 survived. All right. That truck plate, let's see, the Tiger. One, two, three. He can fire right there at the armor. He's a two or higher, and he's minus two. 
Eight and eight. Two hits. Man. Four and ten. He's got to take two more hits. Woo. This tank is getting shot up. This is the last turn if I survive this guy. Suspension. One stress. So he goes to three stress now. Okay. He's still okay though. And exposed. Okay, that's not going to hurt us because this is the last. Now, Panzer, one, two, three, can fire at him. Panzer needs a four or higher, minus two. Four and seven. He gets one hit. Come on. Ten. Takes another hit. And these tanks are getting shot up. One stress. Shoot, he went shaking now. <laughs> Johnson's shaking. Okay, but he's still alive. All right, this is it. The final, the final turn here. What can we do here? He's firing at the armored car. It's a range of one. It's a six or higher, and he's minus two for the leader being shaken. And he got four and two. He missed. Okay. My uh, rifle company is firing at that rifle company. He is four higher. He's plus one. That's what he's doing. Whoops. Oops. Four higher and he's plus one. Six and nine. Two hits. That rifle company is a three or lower. One and one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Can you believe it? All right. My tank's firing range is one, two, three at that Panzer three. This is tank number four. He's a seven or higher and he's minus two and because of the range, minus three. He needs tens to hit. Four and a three. He missed. My half track's firing range three. He's a six or higher, minus two. Three and a three, didn't get it. Well, my mortars are firing and I need one kill here. <laughs> Range is one, two, three at that tank. That's what they're firing at. Seven, man, it's gotta be a nine or higher to hit if he fires it there. He's firing at the rifle company. Range is two. That's five or higher, minus one, plus one, so it's even. Five or higher. Five. Got the hit. On the rifle company. Seven. Got them. Eliminated them. Okay. And I think that will put them at half strength. Two, five, eight, eleven. Yes. So I got them to half strength. Okay, I didn't eliminate them. I get half the victory points for them. <laughs> so they're still around. So they're still a unit I have to contend with, but the next time they're out, they're at half strength. Okay, that's the end of turn six. It's the end of the week. So we also have to um, draw an event card. Get rid of that one. Draw an event card. Pay one SO point to subtract two stress from all participating games. <laughs> Commander, so we're definitely going to do that uh, because I got to get some stress off a couple of these guys for the next week. All right, now we have to do battalion status and then we have to uh, move the battalions. So we're going to roll a 10 sided die and we look at this. There are minus two on their operational movement. Okay, so we start with 9A. My scout car got consumed. I got to take it off of there. All right, and Guderian stays with these guys. So he's a problem for me too, but I'll set them there. Okay, here we go. We roll and they're gonna be minus two. Nine, seven, so they hold right there. So they're gonna cost me SO points now. This is not what I wanted. Okay, 
we, we need to work our way back. So 6C is a fixed. They don't do anything. Okay. So they stay there. All right. 6A. Enemy transit. Add one. Okay. Here we go. So we roll. This is 6A. And they get an 8. They're going to advance. So they move up to the front. All right. Next is 8A. Here they are. Assault force. And they get nothing. <laughs> eight, they're going to advance. Eight A's up into front. Okay. Next is one C. Enemy rear, two experience points, head one rifle. Okay. See what they do. This is a command. They roll a two. So they hold. They're not going to move. All right. I have five S. Which is an engineer unit and a three on a supply unit they hold and now I have 6s right here a supply unit a four they hold and then they have the special note that at the end of that this battalion moves so they move up one so they're in the enemy transit zone okay so that's where we're at we got a battalion that's going to cost me six SO points. Really what I didn't want. And I got a lot of damage. Not going to be able to fix my equipment. Again, probably not going to have enough to even re um, get some of my guys back. So, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something from it. Um, this is a tough battle. You can see what happens now. All the stress, all the combat. Um, I'm not in good shape here going into the week two and so and I still got this um, battalion that I got to do something with here so um, that's where we'll leave off at and I hope you enjoyed it if you're new and you haven't yet please subscribe and if you like what I did uh, give me a thumbs up and so until next time uh, have a good have a good one thanks